Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome back to another episode, season four, episode four, with Real Oviedo. As always, thanks for joining me. Make sure you do the good stuff, hit the thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell, and you'll never miss anything I do. It's rhyme time, so thank you for your view. Um, as always, I do appreciate you turning up on the slate. It's nice to see your face. It brightens my day. Hopefully, mine brightens yours. Now, at the end of season three, it was a bit of a letdown. I felt a bit deflated. I felt like I'd failed. Um, I, had a, I had a decent team that did really well in season two. And then I really thought we could at least replicate that in season three. Champions League was a shit show. <laughs> no two ways about it. Um, so I was out of Europe going into my fourth season thinking, what can I do? And I had a plan. It came about over the summer. I was hoping this would work. So, do you want to know about the plan? I'm sure you do, because you're here. So let's get into it. So my plan was to offload a lot of talent, and I brought in 35 million, albeit 15 of that was from one player, and I've spent absolutely nothing. And it's left me with 62 million in the bank, and all my business is done, right? But I like my idea, I like my plan. It's a bit different from what I normally do. I like to build young teams. It's great sometimes to do that, but sometimes those kind of players are available. And I don't know how long this series is going to go on for, and I really want to get this club back into Europe. So with us not being in Europe, my idea was try and bring in as much money as possible, hopefully keep as much as that, of that money as the season progresses, although the wage bill has gone up, um, and then hopefully use that next season if we get back into Europe. Now then, you may have noticed we've got 900 grand in the wage budget and I'm only spending 800 grand. Um, but there's rules in Spain and rules for my club are my 25 man first team squad can only have a wage salary of 625 grand a week. And you'll notice, I've hidden the players because I'm going to share them with you in a minute, that I'm right on the money. Because it was scientific. So like I said, I brought in 35 million. I sold a couple of lads from the B team, 800 grand, 200 grand, stuff like that. And we got rid of quite a few first teams as well, unhappy ones, people who weren't playing. Um, Big Ben was a decent player. I signed him, don't you remember, for 1.5 million. I got nine and a half for him. So he was a big chunk of it, but the main chunk of it really was from Fran Garcia, who was a fantastic player who had interest from Juventus and an offer of the same value from Juventus. And I thought, he'll go to Juve. He chose Dortmund, so fair enough. So we got loads of money, big chunk of change, but it does hit the free market. So in goal, we still got Roots Sov, decent young keeper, but he's got a competition this year. For Mr. Tennis, released from Barcelona, who I think's pretty similar, and I was quite happy with that. At left back, I've still got the backup left back from last year. He's okay. He does a job at times. But of course, he needed a new left back. And the best one I could find was Miguel Gutierrez, 24-year-old, released from Girona. Got him on a free, cheap as chips. At right back, we've still got Rodrigo Turin. Again, solid, can cover at centre half. And then I've signed this guy on a free from Lazio, but he would only sign if he had a, a zero minimum fee, which gives his value zero, which means people could just take him at any moment. I've never seen that before in my life. Um, but it is what it is. I think he's a great player, the 31 year old Albanian. And if he can be good, I know he's 31, maybe we can fix that contract later. At centre half, I've still got Martin Pasquale. Was it Pasquale? Whatever you want to say. Alessandro Catina, 30 year old, he's still in, he's all right. On a freebie, we've got a 28 year old Brazilian called Lion Kyo from Southampton. So, you know, quite a lot of you have heard of him probably. And I think he's really good and he cost me nothing. And I signed this chap who most of you may know, uh, Danilo, 33 years old, defensive midfield and really, but also a fully fledged centre half. And again, he was free. You know my tactic, and most of you may know I've got two of them. Same one, really, except I don't have an attacking midfielder, I have a defensive midfielder, and there wasn't really any attacking midfielders out there, and there's quite a few central midfielders, so I decided to go into the season maybe a touch more defensive and use the players I've got. And I found this lad, and he's called Lad, and 26 year old, for free. Big G, I've had him before on a free, can't remember where, and he did really well for me for a season or two. I couldn't say no to this one. Again, look at his value. So it's one of them. He could get poached at any time. I know this man from my time as a Man United fan. He was all right. Um, he played for United on here. 
and then went back to Bayern. He's hardly played for two years. His contract ended. He's 31. Great international, great player, great versatile player. We still have Santi Comasana. That's what I call him. Um, again, decent player. And of course, Rodrigo Riquelme, who normally would play behind the striker, but of course he can go out wide and that's where he will be playing when he plays this season. Manu Vallejo, he's still a great player. Kang Lee, I was right. He sold the most shirts last season. Number one shirt seller. Thank you, Korea or South Korea. I've signed this lad, Sergio, um, came from Real Madrid. Again, just handy, forward player. He's, he's not a world beater. But he was free. And I still have Enrique Pereira, who's been decent for me. It's one of them, innit? Squad filler. And then up top, there's no change. I can't get rid of him. I can't get rid of him, even though he was pretty poop last year. And he's still probably going to be the backup this year. And it will be his last season, hopefully, if we can get rid of him. Um, Striker wise, there was nothing about. I just thought Baston knows the club. Uh, and Fernino is a good player and he scores goals. Um, and I, th I felt like we've added. I think we through the middle got the age in the in the center of the pitch now it's older I think the defense is better um goalkeepers are good the forward players are good and this league ain't the greatest league I'm going to put hold my hands up I know people going about the league I don't, on the game it ain't the best I don't think I mean you've got Real Madrid Barca you know and you've got the other Atletico Madrid and Sevilla and so on knocking around but it's quite a you know, it's quite a competitive league, I suppose. It's quite funny if you're not up there, if you're not going for the title. If you're a club like us, um, anything can happen. I mean, the Bookies have bumped us again to 11th from 13th, I think, last year. Um, but I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. Uh, lots of players in on a free. Didn't spend a penny. Buzzing, to be fair. Um, but I just want to get back into Europe. I want some European football. I'd like to do better in the Cup, in the Copa del Rey. But you don't know, like always oh, since so you get on that pitch and your team starts playing together. So like I said, I'm switching the tactic because I've got, you know, good players. And I don't even think I've really got two players for every position, really. But I've trimmed it a bit because I've had to put out big wages. A couple of these lads on 60 grand a week. But I'm hoping that experience at the back, in the middle, uh, with Big G and Marcel Sabitza, um, will be great. I've got two decent wingers, three decent wingers, really. Um, some good strikers. So I had a bit of faith. I sort of on to pre-season now it was okay we had a little tour uh, training camp I think it was and we did really well and then I played Man United so I thought everyone could beat Man United you sh United is shit um, and we did alright 2-1 and then the Budathon I wanted to do it every year the Budathon where you get a little Bud trophy um, but it got cancelled at the last minute someone dropped out and they won't let you reuse that name until next year so I made a new one called The Real Deal, um, <laughs> which we did okay in and we won. So I've got tons I want to get through and this day is kind of going to be long for me. Um, I got up early. We're filming this bit now, but it's going to be a process of throughout the day. More will be revealed and explained as the video goes on. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump forward to the 1st of Jan and see where we're at. Well, we were fourth, but I'm pretty sure last season at this point, we were fourth and then the back end of the season we dropped away and then finally dropped out of the European spots but it was going okay quite liked it I'm, I'm more of a fan when I've got that attacking midfielder player I like that but sometimes you know be a bit more solid and I feel like maybe we are a little bit and um, played 18 won 10 drawn 5 lost 3 which ain't too bad look at Real Madrid yawn uh, Fernino top 3 up there with Victor Osserman and Lewandowski you can't really grumble Sabitza, what a player. He must have played on, in the middle, in defensive midfield. He's played on the right wing a lot. I've had him on the left wing. So handy to have a player like that. Now, obviously, the money was a big thing, and obviously, the wages have gone up. Um, and we're not in Europe, and we've you know we've lost 20 mil. But we're spending money. I think they put more money into training facilities and so on, um, which is great. A big one as well. I think it was like a five miller. So that's fine. Um, I just want to make sure we've got a decent amount left, not like five. If we've got like 20 or 30, I'd be really happy at the end of the season. Hopefully add on to that with some of the league money um, and then go for it. Plus, it's something I've not really looked into yet, playing this series, but most of you, or some of you may know, when it gets to the end of March, April, you get the 50 gen wonder kid list. And once you're in, into a game, that's a great thing to look at. Um, hopefully I can find some of there. So let's have a look at the results in the league so far. And let's be honest, no Europe does help. It's just league, 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 isn't it? Pop Del Rey's not even on yet. So started off really, really well, as you can see. 
until we played Barca. And we got a beat there as well, which is crap. Drew got beat again. Same thing, innit? We start start really well. We hit a bad patch. But we seem to come out of that bad patch. And look, look at the run I've currently been on. In the last lot of games, I've won four in the bounce, a drew with Getafe, and then we've just won um, three. Got Real Madrid next, probably gonna get my ass kicked. But that don't matter. We're doing really well. Lots of greens up there, lots of good players. Fernino wants a new contract. Um, I'm gonna try and push that to the end of the season because I don't I didn't know if I gave him a new deal, would it put me over the squad wage budget? And then I'd have to get rid of someone else. So he's just gonna have to bite the bullet. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. Tough shit. It's a bit, sir. As handy as he is, moans because I think he just wants to play in a specific position. But he's too versatile. He's still doing a really good job for me. Um, my right back's done a good job. Pereira's doing a good job. Vallejo's a pretty good player. Big G Dog in the middle, solid. My new captain as well. Um, and then Kang Lee. So yeah, the front guys and middle guys. They've done really well, <laughs> like, I thought that's the best thing I could say. Um, I don't know what normally, you know, I won't get so many oldies in. I know that they're old, but I mean, they're a lot younger than me. But I don't know, I just feel like get that experience and try and fight for your European spot and see where we can go. And, and the minute it was going to plan. Right then, we're here now on the 4th of March. Normally, you know this process for me. I usually jump in around April, look at the youth intake, but we're here for a specific reason because this is my last save point this morning that's why i was saying it's going to be a day-long process for me and this is why you may know if you've been watching the whole series in the copper del rey we've hit a bit of a stumbling block with the third round and this was my first season we got knocked out by real zaragoza and my second season we got knocked out by real madrid 3-0 uh, last year we got knocked out by real betis 4-1 real betis this year, dinner. this is where we're at, right? It is a bit weird, the Copa del Rey, because I forget, you forget, because you play so much football manager, you do other leagues, different rules. Um, and of course, I've not got past the third round yet during this series. Um, and I'll show you all in one go in a minute. But early rounds, I was like giving guys a game wherever I could, right? Same with them. Obviously, I don't think I did with them. We went for that one. And then I went for it ever since. Beat Valencia. Beat Elche in the quarter-final. And then a beat Real Betis in February. Those games, if you notice, know, look at the dates. You play that boom, 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 right next to each other. Right? Fourth round quarter-final, first leg of a semi, and then there's a break of a month. Um, and I thought to myself, right, but all day, the wife's cool with it. She's going to watch some films upstairs with the kids. I've explained it to her. I said, I can film up to this point. We'll do a live come here because this is massive. And then I can spend the day finishing off the season. If we get to a final, we'll have another live come. If we get to the end of the season, we're not in a final. Maybe we can have something different. I just thought this was good. It's a longer process for me. A bit different. And you may have noticed it's the 4th of March, obviously. And we're still 4th. But look who's 3rd. And that's what I'm saying about this league. Elche, I think they were 15th last year. Now they're third. So, you know, anything can happen in it. Um, look at Real Madrid. Going for the invincible season, aren't they? Wow. That would be awesome, but... <laughs> yeah. We ain't gonna win it. I mean, if we did. <gasps> but it's Real Madrid. And don't count your freaking chickens and all we won the first leg. But, you know, sometimes I get a bit giddy. I think ahead too much. I need to wind myself back in. We've still got to beat these. Right, welcome to Sevilla. I always forget Real Betis are in Sevilla or based in Sevilla. Um, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I've, I've picked a team. I'm Kangley. Can't really risk it. He's on the bench. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And here we go. Now, it's a big game. The first leg was close. We had a bit of luck, but we did it. We're away from home. Betis have a good team. They knocked me out in the third round last year. They battered me a few times. They play really well against me. But can we start really well? Here's Raquel May. Crossing it into new one. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, I've had to have my back up there, back on as well. And I don't know if you noticed, it was freaking Enrique Iglesias. He's not singing today. He's playing for Real Betis. And um, they've got Masengo. See him? He was in my team last year. Oh, 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 oh. Really? Going to be a penalty. It is a penalty. Right, this is a time for heroes. A time for brave men. 
Mr. Tennis. You can do it. Oh no, he can he? Can he do it? It's one nil and not even two minutes gone. Two two in aggregate. Bullshite. Yeah, maybe I was dreaming a bit last night. I was quite excited when the first leg. Couldn't wait to do this today because it's quite a long day for me. You know, normally I've played a film, we do a live comms or whatever. Um, this is more of a, a process, but um, I kind of maybe dreamed a bit too much about the final. Knowing Real Madrid are in it as well, you get excited even though you know you probably get dicked in it. Shouldn't really be thinking too far ahead. Let's be honest, this has just been a nice little sideshow, something quite unexpected really. We did really well to get this far. My main, my main aim, and this is my excuse if we get knocked out, is I just want to get back in the Europe and at the minute we're on target for that. But the game's not over. We're coming forward. What a no referee. You cannot take that away from me. Checking goal with you is such a good goal. Oh, absolutely wounded there. Wounded with a passion. It's like being finger bummed and kicked in the balls at the same time. I don't know. That might actually be quite pleasurable for some people. 50 50. Anyway, well, it's half time. It's not been the greatest first half. It should be 1 1. In my opinion, we only had one shot. I threw the water ball. I threw it. I'm not having it. I threw that water ball. See what happens. They're probably going to flap out and cry their eyes out and concede straight away from Sadia. Yeah? Don't ever throw the water ball. Right, referee. Payback here. Come on, mate. Okay, it was offside. I didn't notice. I didn't see. I didn't even look. Oh, kickoff highlight. This could be promising. Football manager is very predictable. It's either a goal for them, a goal for us, or a close opportunity. Right, come on. Come on. I've given him some encouragement. Here he is, big G-Dog. Finds Fer Nino. Fer. Nino. Honestly. It's too early. It's too early to be putting me through this. Wind me up all day. Right, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Can't hit in barn door, can they? Right, we've got now to lose. We need a goal. I switched it to attacking and we instantly get a real Betis attack. But yeah, um, it's been a strange season. I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I'm, I, 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 I'm just still deflated from last year. I don't know why. But um, it's been fun. If we can get into Europe, I'll definitely do a fifth season. If a ball's out today, playing the rest of this season, and the wheels fall off and I don't get into Europe, I'm fucking rage quitting. I'm going to rage quit. Do you know like when you were a kid playing computer games, playing FIFA or whatever, and you're getting beat and you just turn it off? You know what I mean? They throw your joypad at the wall. All right, come on, lads. Come on. Let's see what happens here. And I think I'll make some changes. Big G, dog. Laying it off to Fulon. What can Fulon do? He's doing something with it. Finds Vallejo. Back to Fulon. Can't see his name. Big G, dog. Can't see his name either. That's why I call him Big G, dog. Greeno won. Last time I had him, Greeno sent me a voice message telling me how to say his name. I forgot. Anyway. Danilo, Fernino. Oh, go on. Go on. Goal! Fuck you, ref. You're running off, aren't you, this time, ref? You can't take that one away from me, you cheating bastard. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Highlight straight from a goal. No, kickoff highlight straight from a goal. They'll score from it. Unlike me, who ballooned it over the bar, they'll score. Just, I play this game too much. I mean, let's be honest, the FM24 is just like the last few games. It's just a freaking updated database with a few half fast tweaks. Where this FM25, this new match engine and all that is supposed to be game changing. Onto the next level, whole new game, right? Fucking bullshit to this. I've made changes, by the way. Stuff like that where you get a kickoff highlight and you know that most of the time someone's scoring. That needs to change. You shouldn't be able to just know what's going to happen. I'm hoping with the new match engine that will be the case. But it looks like it's going to be Real Betis and Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey final. I've lost another live. Come on, all right. Loser roll, huh? But do you know what? It's respectable. 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. It's a bit of a downer. Cup final would have been nice. Um, have we got one flash throw to dice, though? No, we haven't. God, how excited would that be? I was about to jump out of my underpants. But there you go. You win some, or in my case, with Real Oviedo, you lose some a lot when it comes to sharing it with you. Balls to that. Let's forget that. My main focus, like I always said, that was a nice little sideshow, is La Liga, where we are fourth, level on points with Sevilla, Real Betis' arch nemesis. 
So what have I got to do now for the rest of the day? Well, I've hopefully got to try and win some games because if you notice, I've reversed the dates. We've been drawing quite a bit recently in the league. We could have been doing really well, let's be honest. Um, but, you know, I've got Atletico Madrid next. I'm not holding much hope. Sevilla, tough. Elche I'd normally think, yeah, but no, because they're freaking third in the league. Um, so it's you know, quite a tough patch there. i got Real Madrid second to last game in the season. Obviously, I'm coming towards April, so we'll see what happens with the youth intake. I'll um, see if I can sign any youngsters. We'll see. And then wherever I get to the point of trying to secure Europe, we'll jump back in. So for what's going to be instantaneous for you, it's going to be a couple of hours maybe-ish for me, maybe. We'll see. I'll blast through this in no time. See you in a second. Right then, we're jumping back in. It's 1st of April and I've had my youth intake and it was an excellent intake. I've offered the majority of them a contract. Now, the only sad thing is I was kind of hoping I could attack that 50 wonder kid list. But even though I've got 31 million in the bank, I've only got 250 to spend. And even though I've got wiggle room in the wages, even if I bump them all over, I only end up with about 3 million. Unfortunately, because there's quite a few players on this list and there's um, a few players that, especially in Argentina and so on, they've got five million pound minimum fee release fees. So what I'm going to do now is put a little list together at least and then basically, hopefully in the summer, some of them players are still there because there's some really good ones. And quickly, I've played a few games at this moment in time. I'm going to go and have some dinner now though. I'm starving to death. Um, we're still fourth. It hasn't been awesome. I mean, after that heartbreak defeat to Real Betis, we got beat off Atletico Madrid. Kind of expected that. Got beat off Sevilla. You never know. But I beat them, which is a fantastic result for us because they're up there with us. Um, and in my last game, I beat Club Bilbao 1-0. Kang in, in Lee. So what, eight games left to play. Real Madrid finally got beat, by the way. Who was it? I've not even noticed. Villarreal, 4-0. Well done to Villarreal. I've got to clap them. Well done. Um, obviously, we're, we're neck and neck, really, though, with Elche, Sevilla, Villarreal as well. I feel like called Madrid are far behind. What are they doing in eighth? Insane times. So, we'll play a bit more after my dinner. See you again in a bit. Right then, here we are. It's the 4th of May, and you can see we have qualified for some form of Europe. Now, um, I got up to this a couple of days ago, and we hadn't, right? But we play on the Monday. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I get this game out of the way, or maybe I'll do this game. But then obviously the, the last few days have been played. So there's a game on Friday, there were games on Saturday, there were games on Sunday. And what's ever happened in those games up to our game today on the Monday has give us a spot. But you can see we are neck and neck with everybody. Atletico Madrid i have got their shit together the last few games. They're now third. Elche are in fifth. Betis are in sixth, and it's so close with the points obviously we haven't played yet we've been doing all right recently we have we have been winning I mean, the last game was brilliant Vallejo was on another planet so of course we've got three games we're going to play espanol now in a live com see what we can do so welcome to well barcelona espanol form is a bit turd and yeah, they've got brave weight on the right wowzers um, so I've just part of the best team I can. I want to put this game to bed. I want to try and win something. I want some joy together. Do you know what? I do like it. Are we playing this kit? It gives me Denton Villa vibes. If you know, you know. Old school subs. Love that series from a good few years ago. Now, based on the team I played for as a kid, no longer, no longer exist. Not in the same form. Change the name. And um, got a great facility though called Denton Youth now. But they don't play in black and yellow. They're playing black and royal, uh, yellow and royal blue which is a bit crap in my opinion um but yeah I've, I've, I've flown through this quite quick you know quicker than i thought i get through it quite quick anyway but i just went upstairs say to the wife i'm not far off how are you all doing and she starts moaning at me because there's a big pile of clothes next to the bed that she's cleaned for me at least i can do is put them away i just went to overdrive then i've got all my new stuff and all my good stuff so i'm taking all my nicest stuff on holiday so I was like, right, I ended up just going into fucking overdrive, got my holiday section, and then I just started, I couldn't help it. I was like, made sure everything was together. Oh, oh, Fernino. It does get mixed up over time. So I was like, I'm going to organize it while I'm here. Fuck it, do it properly. No pants, shorts, t-shirts, jumpers, hoodies, all like that. Perfect. Looks mint, to be fair. A few things I've hidden because I've spent a bit of money for me the other day. The wife doesn't know about. 
as we all do, you've got to hide some things. Christ, here he is, Vallejo. He was awesome in my last game. Oh, Kang in Lee. It's like the last one, and I'm thinking, oh God, why didn't I have this as a live come? Do you know what I mean? A 4 -0. Brilliant game, to be fair. I'll do that because I'm chatting. What isn't brilliant, though, is we're very posh in the Bood household. We've got two bathrooms, and the downstairs one is right here next to my little office room. And I have just destroyed it. I've just dropped an absolute bomb. And no matter, <laughs> no matter what I'm spraying on, how many windows have opened, I can't get rid of the smell. It's like just hovering. Right then, it's our time. We tune it up. I mean, it looks quite even when it comes to the stats. But you know what? I don't care. I just want to win the game with you. Let's go. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I mean, there will probably be quite a few changes again over the summer. Probably will it attack the free market. I'm not sure what kind of money I'll have to spend. And it'd be wise with it. I'm just opening some good bargains that can strengthen us. And if we do end up in the Champions League, which, you know, we've got a good chance of doing, maybe. Just, just give a better account of ourselves. Just show up. Do you know what I mean? Win a couple of games would be nice. Is Kang Lee Vallejo? Oh! No, that's something that's happening with that, innit? Referee, referee. I hate referees. Oh, God, seriously. They don't like us. Right, here he is again. Kang Lee on fire today. My little South Korean shirt seller makes a fortune. I might just try and buy South Koreans. Make a ton of money, wouldn't you? Hey, imagine that. Just get loads of South Koreans. I might have a look, see what's about. I made a change. Uh, Sabitza is coming off just on a yellow. Don't fancy 10 men in this ref. Don't like us. He's doing everything he can to stop the force at Israel Oviedo. Espanol could get back into it. You never know in my team. You never bloody know. Nico MR. What a name. Oh, look at that. Rubbish. Tosante CV. All right, come on, big G-Dog. Come on. He's been a bit turd this year. I'll be honest with you. He's all right. I remember last time I had him, he was a game changer for, I can't remember where I was. He was a game changer, he was brilliant. I don't know, he's not, maybe he's just not feeling it here. I don't know, might move him on. We'll see, we'll see. Um, the guy from the 33 year old, Piera, or whatever he's called, uh, Danilo, um, signed him on a free from Paris Saint-Germain. He's wanted by Shakhtar. I mean, he's getting on a bit, get in. Big G, slagging him off, scores a goal. I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying it now. I'm winning one with you, and we're hopefully in Europe. Um, and we were this close to a cup final, so, you know, that's progression. Well, there you go, that was it. No more highlights, full time. 3-0, happy bloody days. Obviously, Champions League is not secure, and uh, we've got two tough games. Um, so I'm going to play them now, and we'll see where we finish up. So then, played the last two games, and of course, we got beat of Real Madrid at the Bernabeu, 2-0. But what a game to finish a season off. 3-2. If you look at the top, you'll see not only in the Champions League, but we finished third. I think that is job done and it's given me so much pride. It's given me a right boost. My plan works. Fernino made the goal scoring charts. Very happy for him. 21 goals. Very respectable. And um, yeah, our rivals got relegated. So of course, we've got money to come. No European money, but we'll have La Liga money and a little bit of extra here or there. They give me 10 million to spend and we'll see what me cap is on the squad in the next episode but finish the season with 21 million which isn't bad so I don't know I mean I didn't spend a penny this year and look how much we improved if I can do that again I'd be pretty happy if I can sell a few make some money we'll see well there's been many positives this year a lot of good players and um, players who are wanted players who want to leave so again we'll just see what business I can do there probably will be a lot of change and um, look at Fernie you know proud of the kid look at that hey eh? with Spain Wants a new contract, you might get one now. Thanks for waiting. Um, but we'll see, look, is he still wanted by Shakhtar? Yes, he is. Might cash in on him. Oh, no, I can't wait. Every, this is my favourite part now. Ripping him to pieces and seeing what I can do. Will we go backwards or will we go forwards? Can we win a game in the Champions League? Who knows? Just in case you're wondering, Real Betis lost the Copa del Rey to Real Madrid. Real Madrid. So there we go, that is the end of episode 4, season 4. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough to smash the thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new, and hit that bell. And you'll never miss anything to do, and hopefully you won't go missing for season 5, episode 5. No idea when that will be out, I'll just get through it as quickly as I can and get it to you as quickly as I can. But we definitely got to have a crack in Europe, hopefully a better one, and see what we can do for at least one more season. We'll just go season by season now, but if you're still with me, thank you very much. You know I appreciate you. It's massive. It's absolutely massive, and I'm in a much better mood 
than I was last time. So you stay happy, you stay safe. I love you long time. I'm booed. Bye-bye.